So today I'm going to show you three different ways to make anchovy broth, which is the base for many of the Korean dishes. Dried anchovies are sold in Korean markets in the freezer section or available online. The small anchovies are used for stir frying. Use medium to large anchovies to make the broth. Some will indicate dashi on the package for broth. For the large anchovies, split in the middle and remove the black inner parts and the head. The stock tends to be bitter if you don't remove the inner part, especially with the large anchovies. For a simple anchovy broth, in a pot, bring water and anchovies to a boil. Simmer for about 20 minutes and strain, discarding the anchovies. The second way is to add tashima or dried kelp to the broth. They are available in different sizes as flat sheets, which you can break or cut, or they are available already cut in squares. Now gently wipe off any dust with a paper towel or towel, but don't wipe off the white powder as this provides the umami flavor. Add water, anchovies, and kelp and bring to a boil. Simmer for 10 minutes and remove the kelp. Simmer for 10 more minutes and strain. The third way which provides the best flavor is to add vegetables. Add the water, anchovies, kelp, and the vegetables. Simmer and remove the kelp after 10 minutes. Continue to simmer for 10 more minutes. Remove the vegetables and strain. It's ready to use or you can store in the fridge or freezer. You can see the different color results with the three different methods.